I'll start with a quick review for this book, San Francisco. I'm going to give this book 3 out of 5. I think it was a little skewed overall. But definitely some good points made about homelessness, how to treat it. I don't think he offered a concrete solution. But definitely put an emphasis on parts that are currently not well treated some parts that could be done better. Well, there are some stories a little too long in my opinion overall, but mostly well written. So it's kind of like an average, your average book. So three out of five, let's see the notes. San Francisco has the highest per capita homelessness in uh, probably the world. So it's kind of like the capital of homelessness. Some homeless compare San Francisco to Pleasure Island. So he interviewed some of them and they compare San Francisco to Pleasure Island in Pinocchio where they kind of give you drugs almost, and give you money to buy drugs. And they don't try to help you in a way. It's like just do your thing, which is not good for them either. The U.S. is 5% of the world population, but 25% of prisoners. So there's a lot of prisoners in the U.S. Uh, it's only 5% people of the world, but 25% of prisoners. That's a lot. Drug-related arrests are about a quarter. A quarter of the total arrests are drug-related, which is less than people think. But still a lot. Two-thirds of the time spent on hospitals is treating the homeless in SF. So in San Francisco, they have two thirds of the time, that's a lot, most of the time is being spent treating the homeless. That sounds like a lot. According to the author, liberalization increased use. So the more it's being liberalized, drug use, it would increase use, people would use it more. This is a little contested, that's why according to the author, because some would argue otherwise. The Netherlands used a combination of enforcement and social support services to combat rising homelessness and open drug use. Similar to what happened in San Francisco, what they did in the Netherlands is a combination of enforcement. You can do anything you want, but they still offered social support, social services to combat this problems. Some homelessness is a choice. Some people chose. It's, it's true that not all of them, but he says, the author says that, some of them are there for a choice. They, they choose that. The rescuer is the person who come for the rescue. So it's some kind of a, a diagnosis almost. People who come to the rescue, they always come to the rescue of whoever, of the victim. Not always helping them. Some people prefer to have the bar high and be pushed to be better. Some people need that push. Some people like to tell them you have to do better. Some people need it. Next one is progressives are legalizing crime but not prosecuting. So he thinks that by not prosecuting, you, you're practically legalizing crime. It has some merit. Next one is the issue is long-term psychiatric care. They closed many of those institutions. And he says like the bottom line, the problem is how do you treat long-term psychiatric patients? Next one is open drug scenes should not be allowed. He says like that's part of the way to solve this problem is by not allowing open drug scenes. And the last one, the current treatment is inhumane. What they do right now, well, they think it's not intervening too much. It's inhumane because the situation that happened in the streets. So that hits for the notes. Again, there's some interesting parts, not one of the best, but definitely put an emphasis on important uh, situations that are currently happening in San Francisco and around the, the US and the world, not only in the US, but definitely some bigger cities have facing those issues. So that's it for, the, for this book. Thank you.